So race five is the Crabby's Fox Hunter chasing over the Grand National Fences. I'm not quite sure why Stu's not doing this. It's a, it's a hunter. He normally does these. Anyway, at the top, Admiral Esconi for Martin Needham. Max for Alex Cherry. Motley for Stu Gray. So Black Zone Trouble, Alex Cherry. Heraklion, or Heraklion, whatever you want to call it. Stu Gray. October Cat. Uh, Graham Clutterbuck. Sapphire and Steel, Martin Needham. And Thomas Rogers has got the bottom pair. Slaney upon and Victorian Elfall. So a small feel for this then. And away they go. Let's hope these Grand National Fences don't cause them too many problems as they get over the first. And we'll safely over it. Two in the red rum colours. It would be good to see those colours carry to victory over this course, wouldn't it? Not just because they're mine, but just because it would be nice. Anyway, Sapphire and Steel is in the lead. Neither of them have got much chance, to be fair. And they get to the second. And Sapphire and Steel lands in the lead. And it's a Black Zone Trouble second. And Admiral Escoli in third. That one takes a chance on its fences and Sapphire and still doesn't seem to have a trip at all anything from two to three miles and it still manages to fall over or something they get over the chair and they're all safe and that's Stu Gray's pair at the back but it's Sapphire and Steel that leads at this moment in time by three lengths that's in the winning post and they're taking the water and all safely over that one as they usually are and they now swing out left handed for what will be a full circuit of the Grand National Fences now with Sapphire and Steel in the lead racing down towards the wall will be the first tomorrow Max is in second and then Victorian Elf and Admiral Scully the Great and Slaney upon and Slablatlo Trouble October Cat and then finally Muttley and Herakli on the back marker so continuing this run to the first I think we've got a very very small field of the Grand National tomorrow the smallest field that I've ever known in an SO Grand National as they get over that fifth, which will be the first tomorrow. And Sapphire and Steel is in the lead. Max is second. They're all safely over that one as well. With Admiral Escoli third and October Cat fourth as they come down to the big ditch, which will be number three tomorrow is number seven today. And over it they go. They're all safely over that one. All these jumping well at the moment. With Sapphire and Steel in the lead. Max in second. And Admiral Escoli in third, that order hasn't changed much at all as they get over the eighth, which they're all safely over. And Sapphire and Steel, bowling along in the lead, over the one before Beaches, and a mistake at the back there by Motley, as his stable mate Heraklion jumped it really well. So they come down towards Beaches Brook next then, and Sapphire and Steel will lead them into it, with the lead of about three lengths over it they go and they all got over beaches okay with Sapphire and Steel in the lead Max in second Slaney upon third Victorian Elfal is fourth in October Cat and Heraklion and Sablazzo Trouble Admiral Escoli is the one that's dropped right out of the back with Motley as they got over four in Avon and they'll race down towards the canal turn with Sapphire and Steel clear in the lead well, good four lengths or so so that one nicely slower jump by the horse in second. Max Victorian Elfa looks to be going well in third. Admiral Scully already been niggled along at the back as they come down to Valentine's. I don't know where that one they go. And they're all safe. Oh, they're not all safe. They're a bit motley's gone. So he's flirted a few times with disaster. That one. And this time the jockey couldn't stay in the plate. And away he goes. And the first one out is Motley. So Sapphire and Steel continues to show the way then to Victorian Elf as they get over the 15th and now they're beginning to get closer to this leader Sapphire and Steel just three more fences to take one more down this back part of the track and then they'll swing towards home over it they go and Sapphire and Steel landed in the lead from Victorian Elf for second Max in third October Cat is fourth gap back to Admiral Escoli and Heraklion and then Slabazzo Trouble and Slaney upon they're beginning to take this long run now towards the turn into the home straight and they'll have two more fences to take and then the big long running and it's Sapphire and Steel in the lead from Victorian Elfal Max on its inside October Cat on its outside Admiral Scully making good ground around the outside Heraklion also trying to run on 
coming down towards this second last now and Saffron still has kicked on again and has suddenly found herself six or seven lengths clear. Victorian Elfo moves into second, October Cat and then Admiral Ascoli. The leader Saffron still surely can't keep this up coming down towards the final fence then now. Leads by about four or five lengths, pops over it but slowly. They're all beginning to close now. Stable mate Admiral Ascoli on the outside of October Cat. Then Victorian Elfo and then Max but it's still Sapphire and Steel. Sapphire and Steel still in the lead. There's a furlong to go and it's Sapphire and Steel in front from October Cat and Admiral Ascoli past the elbow they go and Sapphire and Steel still in the lead. Sapphire and Steel from October Cat and Admiral Ascoli. Sapphire and Steel looks like she might be clear enough in the lead and she's got to take it. And past the post, Sapphire and Steel takes it from October Cat and Admiral Ascoli and Victorian Elfo and Herakli on him. Max and Slaney upon and finally Sablazzo trouble. And the famous red rum colours are carried to victory around the famous Liverpool track. And Sapphire and Steel takes it for Martin Leader. October Cat for Graham Clutterbuck was second. Admiral Ascoli for Martin Leader again was third. Victorian Elf for Thomas Rogers fourth. And Max for Alex Cherry was fifth. <laughs>